Okay, everybody. This is the video of how to tune your CD Spark number two. The first one was extremely low quality, so I decided to go with something a little more high quality. Now, uh, we are going to just show you today how to tune the. This one's a 2016 CD Spark. It works for the 2014, 15, and 16. Uh, so, so let's have at it. Now, in the first video I showed you, you need all three items. That's the uh, ODB to HDMI for the map tuner. You need the uh, USB cable to the computer that goes to uh, micro USB or mini mini USB. And you need the map tuner itself. Now that has the HDMI and mini USB in it. So the first way you start to do this is you take the ODB port from the c Spark, which is located directly underneath the uh, coolant tank right here. I don't know if it can be seen. So you pull that out. And here it is. It looks like this. It's got the six connectors. Now the 2014 and 2015 have a silver connector. 2016 has a black connector. You take the connection that uh, is provided with the the uh, map tuner and you connect it in to the ODB port. Let's put that up here for now. C2's got a little bit of water in it so I'm going to keep that away from it. Then you plug in the map tuner to the, uh, I don't know if you can see this, plug in the map tuner. to the HDMI, powers it up, should say Reaver Racing, and then you see this. Now what you do is you hit Add Vehicle, you hit the next button, and it takes several minutes and it reads the vehicle. Mine's already on here, so it will not actually read a new vehicle, it'll probably just say Air Detected. Uh, what yours will say is after this is done, it'll say the serial number of your ECU on the vehicle. So. When that's going up, what you're going to do is probably have this already done, but you are going to download Reva Map Tuner, my Map Tuner. Now, there's two different Map Tuners. There's Map Tuner 1 and Map Tuner X. That one is the Map Tuner X. The Map Tuner 1's a little more analog. That's completely digital. It looks like a tablet. So you click this. What it does is it connects and it downloads all the appropriate Map Tuner information onto your laptop that you'll download Map Tuner X software on. You also need .NET 4.0 for this. So while that's going and downloading and writing all the map tuner uh, information, it uh, uh, will we'll let that finish over there. Now, you need an internet connection for Map Tuner X and Map Tuner software in general because it always has a connection. It verifies your email address and serial number onto your device. It's very specific. The reason why they do that is so you don't cheat them of their software, which they charge a lot of money for. Okay, so it says map tuner can't identify on here. Just hit OK. Well, the reason why that happened is because we already have a new vehicle on here. We, we already have the vehicle on here, I should say, not the new vehicle. All right, so you unplug that after your vehicle is identified, and then you walk over with the USB cable to the map tuner, with the map tuner to the uh, laptop. Plug that in via USB. Close. Now what we do, is we just connect this into the USB port and it should also power back up. Now if you have the software on here from Reva, it should automatically synchronize. If everything is downloaded on the laptop, you hit synchronize and they both work together and synchronize. You hit request software. What that does is after the synchronize is completed, it sees your serial number as you see here. This is my serial number for my Spark, which is a 60 horsepower Spark, and it puts all the um, VTEC uh, tunes from the via the serial number onto the laptop that pertains to your CDU. Mine is a uh, CDU Spark 60 horse. So what it gives me is an E85 8900, which I will not put on. <laughs> That's the race uh, the race gas. Uh, the Stage 2 8500, Stage 3 8600, the Stock File 60, and the Stock File 90. Now, every Spark is a little bit different. Sometimes you see a Stage 1, that's 2014, and 2015 Sparks have Stage 1 8350. It is a lower tune. It's made so that you have 109 horsepower. The 8500 is more like 115. The 8600 is probably more like 117. 
horsepower. Um, stock file 60 is clearly the stock file. That's what happens if anything happens to your motor. You just flash the ECU back to the stock file 60 and it goes back to stock, basically. Okay. Uh, the stock file 90 is if you want your C2 Spark 60 horse to be a 90 horse and you still have sport and touring mode. Very important also, uh, this unlocks sport and touring mode regardless of which one you do except the 60. So the, the benefits of sport and touring mode is touring mode gives a person who is not familiar with how to ride a jet ski a way to still stay in the low RPMs and slowly raise up to the high RPMs. Where sport mode eliminates that. It gives you immediate throttle response, which means that the steed goes Wink, right up. There's, uh, it opens the throttle body up immediately versus uh, the touring, which opens it up slowly. This is all done through, an e through the ECU. There is no cabling. It is all electronic. Okay, so what we do is we load the software on, you, you download all this onto the laptop, then synchronize. What that does is it synchronizes between the map tuner and the software, and it puts all of the software onto the map tuner that pertains to your ski, which means, if you look on here, it goes into the programming. So all that stuff, once you sync, goes into the programming, it takes about 10 minutes to do. Once you're in the programming, you can see that there are every, uh, every tune that we had on here is going to be... Uh, synchronized to this. There it is, the 85, uh, E85, which I won't do, the 60, the 90, the 8500, the 8600. Now I've already done this, so as is evidenced by the other video, so I'll show you what it does and, and what it could do. Now I wanted, what I initially wanted to do is bring this back down to 60 horsepower, turn it on and show you the difference between it, but uh, if, if you already have a 60 horsepower spark, all you have to do is, is uh, Rev it up and see the difference between RPMs in this one. I show you when I turn it on. Okay. After you plug this back into the ODB port and in the map tuner, you hit programming like we showed you over there. And what you're going to do is you are going to choose which tune you want. In this case, we choose the 8500 as, in, in, as is seen in the other video. You hit next and you hit download. Once you hit download, uh, it downloads the tune, the 8500 tune, onto the Spark. Once it downloads the tune onto the Spark, it takes about five, as I said in the other video, five to seven minutes, and uh, that's it. You're done. So, it, uh, it'll ask you to put in the key a few times. It'll, it'll be like, put in the key, turn on the key, turn off the key, turn on the key, and, and uh, the, it, it's pretty simplistic. Okay, we'll hit home, and that's pretty much it. I mean, there's not too much more to it. I, it took me a while to figure it out. Uh, any questions could be answered in my video here if you if you need to know anything uh, basically uh, it's it's it is a process it does have a lot of uh, information that I didn't know uh, for instance the sport and touring mode I didn't know it would unlock that which was a fantastic thing uh, now I have to plug them because they, they helped me out with this big time I bought all the uh, the licensing software and the hardware I rented from PWC muscle PWC Muscle was there for me on a Saturday night at 9 o'clock to help me out so I can use this for Sunday morning on my vacation. So I'm going to put this ODB back in. If I can find it. It's, it's tough to get in there with one hand. Alright, there you go. It's back in. Alright, now I'll show you the difference between Sport and Touring Mode 2 because in the last video I didn't do so. And we'll shut this this time. Oh, maybe, maybe we'll shut this. There we go. These are clips, so they're harder to, to push in. Okay, let's get on the ski. By the way, this is a uh, Sea Dew Spark. I love this thing. It's very dirty right now. I gotta clean it off. Uh, I did some heavy riding with it and, and had some fun with it. Okay. I bought the basic 60 horsepower Sea Dew Spark because it was $5,200. It didn't cost a lot. Nothing was really pricey with it in general. It was fast, but it was it was highly tunable. Fifty-two hundred dollars. Put a five hundred fifty dollar license tune on it. Plus the it was seventy-five dollars to rent the uh, the map tuner from um, PW PW uh, C Muscle. After that, so six hundred twenty-five dollars. You put the tune on there and all of a sudden you have a 115 horsepower ski as opposed to a 60 or a 90 for the price of another, I think it's another $900 to get the upgraded engine, which is the exact same engine. So yeah, pretty 
ridiculous, but yeah. So, all right, let's uh, let's show you the difference. Now, let's start it up. Okay, so this is the difference between a 60 and a 90. There is no touring and there is no sport mode on the 60 or 90 horsepower, uh, or the 60 horsepower Spark. The, the 90 horsepower has the touring and the sport mode. Now, as you, let's let's show you how the difference between touring and sport. So I'm gonna pin it. I'm gonna bring up the RPM gauge, and we'll see how long it takes to get there. All right. So you say what? On the water, it is way different. It takes a lot longer. All right. Let's enter sport mode. Sport mode. And I'll show you how fast it takes to get to the 80, uh, 8300 RPMs. It's immediate. So you can leave this jet ski on for two minutes. It's got a closed cooling system, which means the coolant is inside the machine already, and it and it's cooled by two bottom metal plates that act as heat sinks in the water. The only thing that's bad to leave these on for too long is the exhaust heats up. It is cooled by water. So make sure you don't do that. Two minutes is what you have with this. Okay, let's turn it off. Now we have a 115 horsepower, 60 horsepower Sea Dew Spark with, and here's another huge positive, the taxes of a 60 horsepower <laughs> instead of a 90 horsepower. You are taxed on the length in, in this state, uh, which is very cheap, which is $7.50. And that's it. So there. Any questions for me? Let me know.